Hello, I'm Richard Vose, the Bald Explorer, on my quest for England, and I'm down at um, Pagham Harbour. Fantastic place of na well, nature, isn't it? Nature and wildlife, a sanctuary, a, a place of absolute special interest. But I'm here with a concern, because as you know, I've been looking at uh, parts of Sussex where these terrible new builds are going on. And we have another concern you wouldn't believe right down here um, in Pagham. And I'm joined by John Railton. Hello, Hello. John. How nice you doing, to Richard? see you again. And local resident, John Binion. Giles Binion. G Giles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got the first part <laughs> wrong that it's time. It's too difficult. It's too second. Giles, yeah. lovely to meet you yeah, too. Thanks for coming, Richard. No, it's, yeah. uh, now I know that you're all very concerned because we've been here filming the, the Canadian geese. Lovely. And I yeah. have to say, what an experience. We've been padding out on the sand there yeah, with yeah. the water at low tide. Yeah. And it's just been amazing. Got some Watch. great stuff, didn't we? Yeah. Great, lovely, amazing yeah. shots of these wonderful geese but th there's a problem. John, tell us what the problem is. Well, the problem is that there's um, proposed building going to be going on over at the backfield there, which is obviously going to cause a mass, have a massive impact on the ecology of the harbour. Um, yeah, so, so John, uh, Giles, mm. that, tell us the, um, a little bit what, about what the birds do, because the impact on that field is, is as I understand it from you is they go there to feed that's right yes it traditionally has, has been their feeding area you know right um brent geese you know in the last 50 or so years have taken to all over europe have taken to feeding on agricultural land to supplement their natural diet yes um and, and unfortunately the, the the site that's proposed for 400 plus houses plus other various infrastructure projects golly 400 let's just yeah, let that yeah. sink in for a moment <coughs> exactly. 400 houses yeah you know right right so close to an area of a, a special protection area like Pagham Harbour is obviously going to have a detrimental effect on the, the whole ecology but yes in particular the Brent geese because that's traditionally was their foraging ground and and in terms of the builders themselves or the developers or the council whoever's authorizing all mm. of this what do they say about that when you say hey this is a problem well of course John and myself have put, put the footage that we've found um, and because the technical argument that the um, developers are, are saying is they're going to mitigate for the loss of that land by providing other land as an alternative feeding right. area. Which on the face of it sounds, sounds reasonable. reasonable. Yeah. But, but um, thanks to John's uh, aerial footage, it, it turns out that the, the land that they're offering as an alternative feeding area just would, is pretty poor for any kind of cropping, right. from grassland to winter wheat. Um, so therefore they're they're not really giving back what they're going to take away right and th and that cropping is what the birds would be would normally, normally supplementing yeah. their natural feed and it's also yeah. the fact that the birds have obviously gone to the same places so if you suddenly take a place away from the bird when it comes yes. back obviously They'd be confused mm. and and so therefore they they may not come here as a as a feeding ground at all is that the worry well, that is the worry, yes. Yeah. So certainly the population might, might be decimated in some way, you know. Um, yeah, that is the worry. Who, who knows what nature will do, but, um, it, you know, you, you, you make such a detrimental move right on the borders of a, a, a nature reserve, yes. it's, it's bound to have a, a bad effect, have unfortunately. Have effect. Yeah. So, so is there any way that the developers um, can think again and, and go to us? A different place or is that land now a fate of accompli as it were well that's that's a really good point I mean you know we have to be realistic here um, there's a big push for more houses in the country you know many of your other yeah. videos have shown that by hell or high water they're gonna build um, so the point that, that John and myself have been and, and other local people in the yes. area have been trying to get across is if you're gonna mitigate for the geese, do it properly. Don't right. don't give them a couple of Just a rough, uh, old, bit. A rough old bit of land with a swamp. Yeah. Um, look for some proper fields, but but that of course is could be costly and also they've got to be able to find the fields bearing in mind that Greek geese don't like to expend an awful lot of energy they'll only go say about one and a half kilometers you've inland that, looking right. for yes. uh, no yeah yeah looking for yeah. yeah you've yeah. seen that how that how that they work together how that they some fly off and then others fly off after them when they know it's safe so they all work together yes i mean we could take a lesson from that i think yeah no absolutely so what's the chances of there being anywhere local that 
that they could have as a field here. Well, there are other fields around. Yes. Um, and you you've know, got to get I, the farmers on know. side, I suppose. Exactly, you've got to get the landowners on side. And, yes. and um, it might be a big ask, but when you've got an, uh, an internationally recognised nature reserve, yes. surely a big ask is, is worth asking. Absolutely, because I suppose once you've got those 400 houses in, mm. And, and this is my argument with farmland that's disappearing. Once they're in and they've sort of proved that they can do it mm. and take land away, it leads to more, it leads yeah. to more doesn't it? It's not going to stop there because 10 years down the line, we'll still have the same argument. Yeah. Oh, we've got an expanding population. We need more houses. And it, it could be another spectacular nature reserve that's going to be yes. you know, damaged as well. As and you say, a precedent will be set. People in that area will be saying you can't do this, it's a nature reserve, and yes. they'll say, well, look at Pagham. You know, they did it at Pagham, and Exactly, and it's not just houses that, that you're talking about, there's the whole infrastructure that goes along with that, because you've only got, what, two roads in yeah, down here? Yeah, yeah, I mean, the, the, the problems with the road that we've got already, with flooding and, you know, you were on a bike, you did a bike, didn't you? A I did bike a bike, which is actually GoPro. on YouTube as well, um, <laughs> strapped to my head, and it is quite horrendous, and very yeah. dangerous. Yeah, um, so the increase in traffic is it, going to be a nightmare. The, the road is already overwhelmed, yes. so they shouldn't really be, you know, it's not a wildlife issue, that, but it's... No, but the, good the houses, I mean, once you've got the people in, then you've got that infrastructure pe they more people are going to come down yeah. Yeah, yeah. Th this is going to attract many more people that's a good point. litter plastic yeah. all yeah. those extra things dogs pets, dogs the, the feces and the nitrates going into the natural exactly. environment yeah, yeah. and and suddenly the wildlife is thinking well maybe this isn't such a good plan yeah which yeah, is definitely. which yeah. is a bit of a worry mm. I mean, we've been so lucky today with Wonderful. the weather, beautiful Wonderful. weather after all yeah. that awful rain <laughs> and yeah. dullness that we've had. It's been a joy to come down. It's been great, yeah. And just see the birds. And, and we, as we said, we waded pretty close, didn't we? Yeah, we got quite close to them. We yeah. got where they, uh, where they roost at night. And yeah, uh, it's, it's beautiful. So, you know, it's worth encouraging people to come down who want to just look at the birds, spend a day it's down here. It's such yeah. um, an experience. I, f I just feel hearing them fly over your head is just such an experience Absolutely. out in the wild. Yeah. And it's a wild place. Pangham Harbour is a wild place. And that's what it should stay. Exactly. 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 Yeah. Yes. Well, thank you so much for thank you. bringing Thanks me for down. down. It's been fantastic. Yeah. Um, do come along and have a, have a look, it, you know, it's, it is wonderful, see for yourself and if anybody's watching this knows how to put a bit of pressure to perhaps persuade people not to build on these sites, that would be fantastic, wouldn't it? We've got to look after our country as much as we can. Thanks for watching, I'll be out and about doing another video somewhere, um, but in the meantime don't forget to follow, like and subscribe, thumbs up, see you on the next one. Bye bye for now. Thank you Giles. Thanks Thank you John. Richard. Thank you.